Hey guys, welcome to Top Tip of Betting Tips. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon and you're getting ready to sit down and listen to the podcast with myself, Dalboy, the postman, the Warrikul, and Billy the Kid. Um, your Top Tip of Family. And um, I'd just like to say uh, a big hearty thank you to everybody that contributes their 400 rand a month to the hard work that we put in every every day and uh, the hard studying that the tips just put in um, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes and remember we put you first the punter so welcome to you guys and i hope you're going to enjoy our first uh, open podcast and uh, we're going to dive straight into it we're going to start in the second race which will be the start of the bar pot so i'm going to hand over to the postman and he's going to go through his selections first I see that um, in the second race, we've got Smith and Wesson 4 to 1. We're jamming 4 to 1 and in the field. So I'm going to hand over to the postman and he's going to take us through. Uh, so um, welcome, the postman. Cheers, things, uh, Stevie. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, going through the second race, um, very difficult when you've got so many first timers. Of the horses that have run, Stevie, my first selection here would be horse number nine. We're jamming. That's Richie Faree for Pete Stain. I've known Richard Road a winner um, today for Pete. I think it was a first or second race. And I do believe that this is the right horse um, in the race of those that have run. Um, the other one that has run is a seven. Can you leave it out? I don't think you can. But we go and look at the form of that run second out of four. Something had to run second. Um, Anton Marcus for Justin Snaith. I do believe maybe there's one or two first-timers that may be stronger, especially when we look at the betting. So my um, advice would be include the nine, watch them go down, listen to what the trainers say, and add in there. I certainly wouldn't be bankering nine. I certainly have three or four in the first leg of the bar pot, guys. Okay, thanks for that. That's very interesting. So... Uh, the postman's going for the nine and the seven, both four to one. I'm going to hand over to the Warrickle. What do you fancy in that race, race two, the Warrickle? Thank you, Dow Boy and the postman. Yeah, my first selection, albeit narrowly, also with all these first timers, will be number seven, Smitten Wesson. Uh, Anton Marcus jumps on board for Justin Snaith, was well supported on debut. Um, was it looked like he was in need of the outing and and will definitely come on big time with the first run under the belt my second selection will be number nine uh, we jamming and obviously that, that will be the major threat and for third i've gone for number six pure maverick the the, the well-bred um son of the united states with kamala up for justin snaith and then my fourth selection will be number 10, without question, the Grand Kirk on the first timer for Justin Snaith as well. So as the postman said, go as wide as possible in the first leg, if not, put the field. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that, Oracle. Anything from the kid there? Uh, I think the postman and um, the Warrigal went through it quite well. I do like the nine. Uh, we're jamming. I think that's the right one in the field. But uh, there's a lot of money about for a few of the first-timers. So watch him go down to the start. If you fancy something, throw it in. I'd be going as many as your budget would allow in the, in the, in the first leg of the bar pot. And what would those numbers be, the kid? I definitely wouldn't leave out the two. Uh, Glenn Cotson, he can get the first timers ready. Um, he's had two two already win, two uh, babies win uh, this season. So I definitely wouldn't leave out the two. So we're going nine seven and two. No, we're gonna go nine seven two six. Nine seven two six in the first leg of the bar pot. Um, the Warwick and the Postman, are you happy with those four, those four horses for the first leg? Um, I'll be honest with you. I would rather just wait and watch the, the first-timers going down and see if there's any more support and see what the trainers have to say. Um, I mean, today was brilliant when we watched 
um, all the interviews in the studio, I mean, they did a remarkable job there. And there was some bloody good info that came out. So maybe just sit and watch and wait until about five or six minutes before and then put your bar part on. Yeah, okay. I cannot agree agree uh, there with the postman. What we can do is maybe go the those four horses and uh, then add in if you need to add in around that. Okay. I think we can structure around those four horses and add in where, where you feel you want to add in as well. All right. Thank you for that, the Warrico. We're going to move on to race three, uh, which is at 13.45. Um, it's a maiden plate. And the betting there is number two, Bon Voyage at 18 to 10. And Pomodoro is Jet at two and a half. Um, I'm going to start with Billy the Kid. What do you fancy in that race, Billy the Kid? Uh, it's quite a tough race. Um, I do like number three, Pomodoro's Jet, Brett Crawford for Keegan DeMello. I think um, it took Sugar Mountain to the line last time out. Sugar Mountain was four to ten, and he only uh, lost under a uh, length to him. So I think Pomodoro's Jet uh, could be the, the right one. Um, I definitely wouldn't leave out number five. He knows Pete Stain for Richard Faree. Uh, if you watch his last run, very good run. He came from quite a way back off them. And um, Bernard Faderb on that run, he didn't even use the whip on him. It was just under the hands. And I think uh, number five, he knows, uh, could definitely be a nice place bet in that uh, kind of field. Yeah, I see he's 12 and a half to one. You could probably get 13, 14 to one if it stays like that, if no money comes for him. Thank no, you, for sure. I mean, I'm going to move on to the Warrigal there. Thanks, uh, Dal Boy. Um, yeah, my first selection here, which will be my best bet for the day, is number four, Tchaikovsky. Aldo De Maia for uh, Candace Bass Robinson. That last run wasn't too bad from a widest draw, but the previous run was to Gem King was a very good run. And I really think that this three old uh, Bay Colts will appreciate the 1400. And at nine to two is great value uh, from my side. Uh, for second, definitely the main threat will be number three, Pomodoro's Jet. Good improvement last time in running second over course and distance. Well related, the half brother to Mr. Pigal. And for third, number two, Bon Voyage. Samanga Kamala for Justin Snaith. Hasn't put a foot wrong, does show good speed. I just may maybe feel the 1400 may be a little bit too far, but must be respected. And for fourth, number 11, uh, Zoom Zoom uh, with uh, Louis Mokotwa for Brett Craw Crawford. Last time didn't really raise the gallop after a fair debut over 1200. And from a good draw of two, can only make natural improvements. So that, those are my first four selections with my best bet being the four. Okay, lovely. Thank you for that. And uh, the postman, do you have anything to add there? Um, look, I have only fancy two horses in the race. Uh, fancy five by four. Um, again, if you go and you look at the last run of the five, it was Slow Wolf. Um, and as um, the kid actually said, um, Bernard never even raised a gallop. He, he was under the hands all the way. I mean, we go and look at the time before that. He was only three lengths off them. Um, that was another good run. Why the horse went off at 40 to 1, I really don't know. Um, I do um, think that Bon Voyage, I think, is too far. Just the way it runs. Um, he's drawn eight. Um, if he jumps and goes to the front, I think he will be found wanting. For my place accumulator, I think four and five is sufficient there. I don't think I need anything else. Okay. Um, the kid, what have we got in the bar pot there? We're going to go three, five, two, and four. Three, five, two, and four. Two and four. Two and four. Yeah. I definitely think in the, in the PA, like the postman said, you could probably get away with two horses, um, even if you go three, five, four in the PA. That should be enough to get you through. So you want to go three, five, and four in the PA? Yeah. Okay, we go three, five, and four in the PA, and we go uh, two, three, four, and five in the bar pot. Bar pot, yeah. 
All right, we're going to move on to the fourth race. Um, let's have a look at the fourth race. That's at 14.25. And uh, we've got a real, real short favorite, uh, Real Gone Kid. Um, three to ten. Um, then we go Casimir, four and a half. And, excuse me, Barcelona, eight and a half. Um, I'm going to start with the Warrigal this time. What do you suggest for, for this race? The Warwickle, are you going to bank for this favourite or are you going to try and beat it? Well, he, well, on paper, he looks very hard to oppose. Um, he has his peak run. He beat a top sort in Rio Karori last time over 1,100. He's, he's unbeaten in two runs over course and distance and could prove very hard to peg back here in this field. I really feel... If you're going to bank her for the day, number two, Real Gone Kid, even though he's very short, is the right banker. Um, if you want to go wider, the only threat that I can see is number three, Speed Machine, drops back and trip. He ran in a strong race last time. But if you see his run to Zibola Winter, over 1-1 one, one at the Gravel track, could bounce back to his best over the minimum trip. So for the bigger pick six punters, I would only add a number three, but two is a, an ultra confident selection. Real gone kid. Very, okay, a tough so nut to crack. Okay, well, normally at top tip, we're paying to beat the favourites, but you say that this one's a, a tough nut to crack. So I respect that opinion. I'm going to go with you, the postman. Do you, do you think anything can oppose this favourite? No, not at all. Uh, myself, I don't like, I always look to beat it. Um, and that, I don't think, I think if, if I jump on that horse, as long as I don't fall off, I would win. Um, the only one that I think that will, my second choice is the five. So if I'm playing something, I'm going to throw in two and five and hope like hell. Um, but I don't see it. I really don't. Okay, thank you. And the, uh, the uh, Billy the Kid, do you think anything can oppose his favourite? Nah, look, it looks close to a rating certainty as you can get. Um, but look, we've seen crazy things happen. Uh, I'd be going two and five in, in all my bets. I'd be going two and five just in case, I mean, anything can happen. But it does okay, look so, hard to beat. So what are we going to go in the bar pot in that leg? We're going to go two and five. Okay. And in the PA, banker? Yeah, we're going to go... You could banker it in the PA. Look, I don't think it will get beat, but crazy things have happened in, in racing. I mean... I think we've got to take a the, chance the, and banker that because it's a small field. And... Um, yeah. Uh, it's got to yeah. run in the first three, really. So, are you guys happy yeah, you, to banker that in the PA? Yeah, Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I think for the for the smaller punters, if they take an alternative yeah. bar pot, they can bank the two as well. If they wanted a backup one, you know, to get a higher percentage, you know, right, I, I think some yeah. guys like to do that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So Rio gone did a very good bet on the day, except it's very short. So we're not going to have a bet on that, are we, boys? Nah. Nah. Okay. Not so we'll, we'll move on to the fifth race. Um, the glorious Goodwood Premier Trophy, Grade 2, at uh, 3 o'clock. And here we've got, let's have a look at the betting here. We've got Do It Again at 4 to 1. No, uh, 8 no, to no, 10. It's 8 to 10. Is it 8 to 10 now? Yeah. Yeah, it was no, even know. money. Eight to 10. It was yeah. even money, correct. Okay, I don't know how I got 41. Sorry, I, I just looked at the betting. So you say 8 He's to 10. He's still offering 41. <laughs> hey, I, oh, I, 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 I need you guys 41. I need you what's up, you and I said, I'll take three. <laughs> no, I snapped I'll up the four, 4 to 1 a long time ago. <laughs> All right, so we've got to do it again at 8 to 10. And then uh, we've got 8. The next horses are, I've got 8, eight to 1. Um, I'm going to start with the postman in this race, the fifth race, and he's going to tell us what he fancies to win this race. Well, Stevie, again, I'm not going to be too adventurous here. I think um, Do It Again is a class horse. 
Um, you know, running at almost at level weights, I don't think that can get beat. I think uh, Anton will have his double there. Um, for second, I've gone for the Nan, um, Hood Sprite, um, Richie Free for Justin Snay. I think that that one, I mean, if you go and look on its last run, it's eight and a half kilos better off for what? A four length beating or something like that. So I'm going four by nine and I'm throwing in a real, real spook um, to run third. This horse owes me absolutely nothing. I've caught it at 33 to one. I've caught it every time with bloody one or, or run a drum. I'm throwing in the eight, Cat Daddy. Um, every time this kid, uh, Mornay Vino, jumps aboard, go back and look at some of his previous runs. If he holds this horse up and the pace is on, I'm telling you what, Get it, get involved in a couple of places. Yeah, you may you may go home smiling. So I've gone four pretty strong by nine, and I'm hoping like eight runs and drum for me to make my swingers pay. Mm, mm. And tell me what price is a nine? I've got it at any price. Nine. Um, I'm looking at the betting now, just over seven to one, seven point two to one. That's what okay. I've got it yeah, in front of me. This is with Marshalls. Okay. All right. So seven to one. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the kid on that. Next one. I, I think Do It Again will win. Uh, also, I'm in the same camp as the postman. I think Anton will have his double. Um, it is quite short at 8 to 10, so I'd be looking for a horse to run a place. So I'm going I'm, to, I'm, I like Russian Rockia to run a place. Um, I think if you can get 15 to 10 for her to run a place, 2 to 1, I think that's good, good value for Russian Rock to run a place. Okay, and uh, the Warrikul, what do you like in this race? Yeah, I, I agree with um, the postman and Billy the Kid. If you look um, at the ratings, do it again, is 129. Russian Rock comes in at 119. But do it again, is carrying 58 and a half. So mm. he is so well in here. He looks mm. very hard to oppose. Uh, but we've seen stranger things happen um, mm -hmm. as well. I don't know if he's maybe prepping for the for the Met, um, being second run off the rest, but he's got the class. And the slight concern is he's a seven-year-old, but he, he's got impeccable form. I think if there's going to be an upset in this race, it's going to be the number six, uh, Super Silvano, uh, Louis McCorpa for Brett Crawford. You, you saw um, how he had the upset today. Um, at Kenilworth and I really feel that the source is running just below its actual form and from draw one we'll have a nice easy run be nice and relaxed and hopefully come with a flying finish so I, I consider that the, the major threat if there's an upset and then obviously for third number three fire alley needs to be included at, at one very easily last time over the course and distance and could have won by a much further margin. The Candice Bass, Robinson, Elder De Mayer combinations in top form. And for fourth, obviously, um, the second best rated horse, um, number one, Russian Rock. Um, trials the 1800. It, it has run in the Daily News just behind really some top sorts as well uh, to linebacker and in this type of race could also um, upset at best as well being a four-year-old is uh, still progressive so those are my selections for race five okay so you guys are quite split on your um, horses yeah so what are we going to go in the bar pot guys i definitely throw four and one in um I know the postman likes the nine. Yes, I would so love to go throw four and nine in. Yeah, four one nine. I I'd go four one nine. Look, I think the four would get you through through your uh, bar pot and yeah, yeah, for the smaller the punches, one... you know, if you want. I I, I think uh, four four six and nine looks looks a nice uh, mix to put in because you've got the favourites, you've got um, seven to one, and you've got a sixteen to one, so you're mm. quite well covered there. Um, because you don't, really don't want to go too 
stretch it too much here because there are other races which are a lot more difficult, I think. Uh, that's from my side. Kid, what do you like to run second? I like the one. I mean, you go back and look at some of its earlier form. I mean, it beat line back in the guineas. But you know, he's not... Sure. So shall we go uh, one, six, four, and nine there, uh, the postman? Yeah, I would do that. If, if you know, what if the four wins and one of them come in, we double up. If he runs off, if he runs third, please, Lord, let us double up with two dogs. Exactly. You know, the old, the old story, guys, while they have 30% of something, then 100% of nothing, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred yeah. no, percent. Let's 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 do this. And what are we gonna do in the PA, guys? Uh personally, I don't think it can run out of the top three. Yeah, what, do, do it again. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. have a banker there. Yeah, let's take a chance if we can load later. Okay, son, son, son. Okay, we're gonna move on to the sixth race. Um the six races, the Cartier Paddock Stakes, grade one, over 1,800 meters at 15.35. Um, here, you've got also another short toss. I've got nine to ten captain's ransom. Am I right, guys? Correct, yeah. Okay, and then we've got, uh, she's a keeper, five and a half. Um, I'm just going through my books here. And then Ch Chancenetti, and Marina and Princess Kella are all in the betting as well. You and she's a keeper five to one, six to one, and seven to one. So Princess um, Kella's Princess Kella's come into nine to two, um, Stevie. Okay, she, so there's money for her, eh? Nine yeah, she's second, she's second favorite at this moment in time. Okay, lovely. I've got that. Thank you for that, postman. No, but uh, no worries. Tell me something. Um, I'm going to start with you, the kid. What do you like in this race? I like Shanta, Shantaniti, uh, Grant Van Eekirk, William Null. We saw Grant had another great day today. Uh, last time it beat Desert Miracle. I think she's progressive. And I definitely think she's a she's a nice bet around 8-1. to one. So I'll be having a few wins on her and, and, and definitely a few places. Chansonette, the eight. I got her at 8.33. So you could get nine, ten to one there, hopefully, eh? Yeah, I mean, look, you could probably on the day get 14 to 10 a place. I mean, 14 to 10 a place. Yeah. In the first in the first three. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's a good bet. Um, the Warrico, what do you like in this race? Yeah, I really, uh, it's a really competitive uh, paddock stakes. Grade one, and also I, I feel obviously my narrow first selection um, will be also number eight, Chansonne. Jumps from pole position, beats a top sort last time over the mile in the Phillies Guineas, gets pole position again, mm -hmm. and I really feel that um, she's really progressive. Um, she's lightly raced, and. I, do, I really feel the 1800 won't be an issue. So, but will be my first narrow first selection in this in this race. And my second selection will be the three, uh, Princess Keller. I really feel that this four-year-old Bayfully will come on in leaps and bounds after her last run. She has run second to War of Athena. If you put War of Athena in this race, we wouldn't really get a price. So... I really feel she's a major threat, but obviously needs a good pace. So, y'all, yeah, those are my top two selections. Obviously, you've got to respect the two captains. Ransom is ultra consistent. I mean, he's she's had five runs for four wins um, at this track. So, and also jumps from a good draw of four. Um, if appreciating the extra, definitely will also be in the shakeup. So it is wide open. So there's no there's no full confidence in anything. And then also number one, she's a keeper mm. as well. You can see has been cleverly prepped for this race. Will definitely have no issues over the eighteen hundred. As she has won over the nineteen hundred before, so and the two thousand. So it, that could be an upset uh, material as well. Okay, lovely. Um, so, 
we, we, we're trying to brass this favourite, Captain Ransom. Uh, is that what you guys are telling me? The postman, do you think we can brass the favourite? Can I be honest with you? I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like the two at all. I know okay. probably I'll end, I'll end up with egg on my face. Um, I don't like <laughs> it at all. I haven't tipped it to run in the first four, but I mean, maybe that's just been too bold. Um, mm. I'll, fancy, I'll fancy the one really, really strong here. Yeah. And I think round about six to one, I think that's a good each way bet. As or the Oracle said, we look at the prep of this horse and it's gone, what well, it seems to be a, 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 have gone to plan. I really believe that she will be really, really hard to beat. Mm. Um, I do respect three, four, and eight. Um, I will be leaving the two out of all my bets, but I am, I am going to go sad. I'm going to go big here because I prefer something later on. I'm going one, four, three, and eight. I'll be putting all four in, in my personal bets. One, four, three, and eight. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for that. And um, Tommy the Kid, what are we going in the our part? It's a tough race. Uh, I, I would I would go a few. I'd go eight, three, one. Yeah, I could live with that. One, three, three eight. One. I mean, look, that should get you through. If you want to throw yeah, Captain Ransom in and the, and the budget allows it, throw it in. I mean, it is all class. and um, But I, pre I prefer the... Okay, uh, we've got one, three, and thought. eight. Do you want to add anything in there, the Warwickle? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, we're looking for the upset, but I really think we need to keep the two in because obviously it, it's a class package. I mean, if you look at the weights... Um, Mm. she's got them she's got them stone cold um so i would definitely include the two even though we want to obviously hopefully beat it. It, it, yeah. doesn't, it beats it yeah but you'd be foolish to leave it out at the ratings i mean she's she's well ahead of of anything in this field so mm. we have to respect and it's peak run as well so we, we need to respect that 11 to 10 yeah i see that yeah yeah Okay, so we're going to go one, three, eight, and two there. And in the PA, what are we going there, guys? We're going to go one, three, and eight. Try and brass the favorite, or we're going to add the favorite in there? One, two, three, and eight. No, let's go one, three, and eight because we, we're looking to for the upset there. And yeah, I, I agree with the rest of the team. Um, yeah, I'll tell you one, three, and eight should get you through in the Yeah, PA. one, three, and yeah, eight. Yeah, they got to run in the first three, so that's fine. They've got to run in the first three. Yeah, yeah. And we've got two bankers before that, so that's fine. All right, yeah. so we'll move on to the seventh. And um, yeah, I'm going to start talk with... So the Warwick, was that your value bet or your best bet? No, that was my value bet. Oh, that was your value bet, the kid. Okay, I'm going to come to the yeah. end and, and you guys can give me your best bets and your value bets, okay? So we'll move on to the seventh. Lormorant Queen's Plate, uh, grade one, 1610 at over 1600 meters. Yeah, I've got Rainbow Bridge at 33 to 10. Am I right there, guys? Yeah, Correct. it's round about there. It's round about there, yeah. And I've got Line Back uh, also 33 to 10, the same price. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Then I've got Comedy Ding at fours and Warrior yeah. fives. That's it. Um, Jet Dark sixes. All right, yeah, I'm going to start with you, the Warrior. Give us your, your input on this race, please. Okay, no, thank you. Um, yeah, obviously, this, uh, this race is, is won by only top horses. So um, I really feel, obviously, it, it, it's a super competitive uh, Queen's Plate. It could be form reversals. If you look at the last run to Seeking the Stars, when obviously beating Rainbow Bridge, and a linebacker, but seeking the stars was allowed to dictate and, and get away. I don't, I feel that this time around, it's going to be a different story and won't be allowed to get away like last time. My first selection here, I will, I'm going for number four linebacker, um, the four-year-old Bay Gelding. I really think he's progressive. He needed to run badly last time. And 
I really think he'll he'll come on in leaps and bounds. He he did beat Riskelli and three runs back. I know it was over further, but close up second to Komeke Deng. Um, had a good second to Russian Rock in the Cape Guineas before from a wide draw, but and from a draw of three, I think is the right one here. You have to be a top horse to win this, and is is well in here. Uh, for second, I think Warrior. Anton Marcus has jumped off sleek in the stars to ride Warrior. So I consider this um, Royal Bay Gelding to be the major threat. And five runs, four wins over course and distance, you know. So it, it, it definitely must be included. And for third, obviously, number one, Rainbow Bridge. The only concern with Rainbow Bridge is he's had numerous trials over the over the queen in the Queen's Plate and hasn't had managed to win yet, which is a concern to me. And as a seven-year-old, but must be respected with a good draw of two. Mm -hmm. And then my third selection will be the July winner number three, Komeke Deng. Does jump from a whitish draw, but has got class, and I'm expecting a very close finish. So my narrow first selection, number four, linebacker. Lovely. Thanks for that. Well put. And uh, the kid, what do you fancy in that race? Uh, I do like linebacker. I think that he needed the run last time desperately, um, coming back from a rest. My only concern is is Grant Van Niekerk's gotten off a few of these horses to ride the 11. Um I'd put a line through its last run. Um, it was drawn wide. They tried to come down the outside. Everyone came down the outside. He couldn't get any uh, headway. Um, I'd put a line through that run. So I'd be throwing the number 11 into all my bets. Um, I think Grant Van Niekirk, on big days, you, you, you want him on your side. Uh, Justin State knows how to win the race. They won it last year with a three-year-old, and I think they can win it again this year with a three-year-old. So that will be my... First selection, narrow first selection, but uh, I do like number four too, linebacker. I know the I know the postman thinks that the kid's crazy about that selection, but anyway, <laughs> what do you fancy there, the postman? Can you I'll convince you what, us? Yeah, guys, I'll tell you. I've, here's my bank. Here's my best bet on the day, Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> Had two thirds in the race and a second. Can you go to study at the end of the year? The stable is telling us this horse is jumping out of its skin. And I'll, I'll, I'll bet all of you guys here, yeah, Rainbow Bridge finishes in front of Pakaya and what was the Warriors' first selection? Linebacker. 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 Yeah. Two kilos. Uh, my apologies. He, he beat him last night. Um, I, don't, I don't think they'll get close to um, Rainbow Bridge tomorrow. And I'll bet you, I'll bet you, gentlemen, a coke when I see you. I'll, I'll, I'll take, take your coke. And, there we and go. Just make, us. Thank you. Just make sure. Just make okay. sure I've got, I've got us and uh, lemon and mine. So I've gone on Rainbow Bridge, linebacker. I'll give, I'll give Warwick, uh, the Warwick the cheap thrill that will run second, and obviously the July winner to run third. Although well, it's drawn a little wide. Um, I mean, nobody could have been drawn wider than it did when it won the um, July. So I've gone one, four, three, but one pretty confident. In my bets, that's an anchor for me. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, uh, how do you say? Um, confidence. I like that confidence, yeah. Okay, so what are we going to go there in the last leg of the pub? But we're obviously not going to bank there, are we? No, I, I think we can go. I'm sure we can go <laughs> one, four, and six. We should be safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we can't. We can't do that. The kid is strong. On the, on the hey, 11. don't leave the eleven out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go one, one, four, six, and eleven is, just for a little yeah, bit there for the no, for 100, the kid. A Okay, we'll we'll find the, the kid's lunatic uh, number eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell what, you what something. He, out, in half of he it. is out at the weight, guys. He's well let, out. He's, he's not well in. Um, let me tell the, you something. The Warrickle, when we when the kid and I come to South Africa in March, okay, 
to see our horses uh, up at the stables. Um, if the 11 doesn't run a drum, he's going to take you guys off for a game of golf. How's that? Oh, love it. Love it. Make, okay. make, make sure he's got plenty we'll, we'll get money, the postman eh? to, to, <laughs> to pick the course for us. The postman, you, you must pick the course. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you something, the postman. Don't worry about money with the kid. He's been backing winners like hell. Uh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I just think uh, that's a lunatic. Um, he's out of the weight. He's drawn on the beach. Um, yeah, but, but again, yeah. let's be honest. Funnier things have happened in horse racing, haven't they? Yep. But are we going to go there in the PA, guys? Are we going to go 1, 4, 6, and 11 and hope for a result? No, no. I, I think we're safe with 1 and 4. I don't think we need to go further than that, guys. Okay, if you're happy with that. Are you happy with yeah. that, the postman? Look, I, I'm happy as long as you've got the 1. So it'll be, it'll be up to the kid to say, does he want you to include anything else? The kid? Remember, Look, Jim, my I don't want tears of the result is 11, 9, 10, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's hey, hear what the kid I'd go, says. I'd, go, I'd just go 1, 4, 11. Look, it's a bit of a lunatic selection, but you've you got to understand, I mean, Grant Van Eker could have ridden how many in this field? I mean, he could have ridden half mm -hmm. of them if he wanted to. But, you you know, know what? He's, he's got an awful few to, to ride it, so it must be it must be some some sort of uh, decent... The, the worry call, what I'm going to do there is, is I'm going to go 1, 4, and 11, and I'll tell you why. Is we don't normally bank a, um, in top tipper, but we've got two bankers in the PA already. So let's hope for a result there. Yeah. Let's hope it's 11, 10, 9. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's not 11 because I want I want my game of golf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 All right, son. If so the result is 11, 9, I'll swallow my race card. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, well basically, for the, for, the, for the normal punters and that, um, you can safely go with 1 and 4. If you want yeah. to add an 11, welcome to add in that selection. But, you know, for, for me, I can't have the 11. I'll be honest with you. I can't okay. have the 11. All right, yeah, 100. From my side. Okay, so the postman, uh, Billy the Kid, the postman and the Warrior are outvoting you there. You're going to have to come up with a game of golf there. Um, <laughs> so there we go, 1 4 11 and 1 4 6 11 in the bar pot. So the bar pot is done, okay? Um, I'll call the bar pot out at the end and um, we'll work out how much that budget come, that, that, that one comes to. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the eighth race. And I'm going to get the postman to start on this race. The eighth race is uh, the Franschuk Motor Museum. Merit rated 96 handicap over 1,400 meters going off at quarter to five. The postman, um, it looks like we've got Chala at four and a half. So am I right? And Royal Watch at four and a half. Uh, yeah, 100%. Stevie, I do not like this race at all. Um, really, I don't. Um, my first selection here is horse number seven, all about L. Um, I'm, I'm hoping with that draw, Craig Zaki um, staying aboard. Craig has ridden over 1,600 metres before, finishing half a length. Um, he was favoured on the day. I don't think the 1,400 will um, be too far for it. And again, with that draw, certainly... Put that as my first um, selection. For second, I've gone for a bit of a roughly here. I don't like the draw. Um, I'm disregarding his last run. And for second, I have gone for horse number one, his choice. I know he's carrying 61 kilos. Um, last time I took no interest. The time before that, lost a length and did absolutely bugger all. But when we sort of start going back, it had fair form prior to that. Um, last time out when Gareth Wright rode it, I mean, Gareth doesn't really travel to Cape Town um, often. And again, as the kid said previously, Grant jumped off. He's back aboard here. Um, he was not disgraced last time, finishing four lengths to Vikram. I'm hoping he runs a drum. And for third again, gone for another uh, roughly here. 
I've gone for my favorite apprentice here, horse number three, Rachel Venica for Justin Snaith. I think with her two and a half off the back, I certainly think this one can be staying on. Um, and I'm hoping that Justin has thrown um, Rachel a bone so that she can go close. So I've gone 7-1-3. 7-1-3 mm. there for the postman. Um, but an I'm open go... race, Didi. I, it's a big, anybody I, I, likes anything open. I didn't like this race when I had a look at it myself. I couldn't yeah. pick a winner, to be honest with you guys. Yeah. Um, that's why I leave it up to you guys to study. But I did have a look, and it's very, very difficult. So I'm going to ask the Warriko what he fancies there. Yeah, um, my first selection is also the number seven, all about L. I really think it will turn the tables on the four, purely because of the distance is unbeaten and, and is only run over the course in distance. It's three kilograms better off, has got a better draw. So I really think this is good value at 6 to one And I really think it's going to be a rough result. So my, and my second selection will be number 12, Gaelic Tribe. Bottom of, of the weights there at 54 and a half, jumps from draw two. We'll, all, we'll be up there with the pace. And I really think um, could be the upset material if the seven fluffs is lines. For third, I'm going to go for number nine, Knights Templar, also fair recent form, but if you look back over four runs over course and distance, has won two. And uh, with Muzieni jumping from draw three, I'm sure he, he's going to uh, give up his best. So I'm recommending if you're going to, this is going to be an upset race, we're hoping for to box the seven, nine, and 12 in exactors and traffic, uh, exactors and swingers. And I, I think you could go close here. This is, I really feel this is the, the race where you could ma make some money. Okay. And the kid, you also fancy the, um, the number seven, all about Al? I do fancy it, but I fancy the four more than the seven. Okay. Um, I know he's carrying, carrying more weight this time, um, but I like its last run. I mean, they came to it and he kept kicking. I think the 1,400 um, won't be too far for him. Uh, but look, I can, you can make a case for every single one of them yet. I mean, if if you're playing a pick six and that stuff and the budget allows to go field, I'd go field. Yeah, I mean, I like the 12. Uh, um, it's got a low weight on its back. It's drawn two. Uh, that could win. There's a few that could win, yeah, but I wouldn't leave out the four and 12. Okay, so what are we going to go in the PA, guys? As wide as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd go, I, I, I think we put four horses and I, I think, obviously, um, I think uh, the postman and myself will have a bet for a Coke and us with with Billy the Kid uh, with the four against our seven. Seven, okay. so for sure. Four, seven, nine and 12 should should uh, be a nice selection for the place accumulates so looking for the upsets um, later on. Yeah, I don't like 12 at all. I'll be honest with you. Okay. What would you I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think it's in the class of these horses. It's been running fourth and nine. I don't know. Well, uh, I mean the 12. I'm, I'm not if saying it can't, but I, yeah. I just think there's well, you have to yeah. respect it of uh it won easily over the mile. So obviously it, it sits right up there. I mean, if he's allowed to skip away, he might get away, you know. So I yeah, he won a yeah, Durbanville though, hey? Yeah, no, 100%, 100%. But obviously, uh, I mean, he ran a decent run to Q Shiraz um, as well. So that, that was a close-up over the mile. So, and, and, and he was bumped. So with the low weights, you, you need to respect him. I don't say you win, but I think he, he could definitely be in the shake-up. Well, he, he's, in my, he's, in, he's my major threat to the seven. Okay, I think I'm we need to, to. I think we need to add in the three there, Rachel. Let's add in the three there. Yeah, um, I don't think you can go wrong with the the three. Um, uh, look, I just go four, seven, twelve, and three. Yeah, but 
the non uh, the warrior locks the non ne. Um, I honestly can't have the non ne, but um, are we gonna go five or four horses there, guys? Let me know. I, I'd rather have uh, the Warwickles nine than the twelve. I mean, it's been running in Mary Rate at ninety fives, um, carrying the same weight. Um, he's carrying fifty six here again. Um, the twelve has been carrying a lot, a lot more, but in a lower division. Um, mm. Guys, yeah, put as many as you can. You know, obviously, I, we don't want to, we don't want the PA to cost seventeen thousand rand. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we've got two bankers earlier on. Yeah. We've um, gone fairly light in the other races too, so I think let's let's go three, four, seven, nine, and twelve there, guys. It's a difficult race, like you all said. And uh, you First, all have different opinions. Then, throw it in and then we can just see what it comes to. What it comes always, to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then we can always go back and take out. We can always go back and take out of that leg. All right, son, I'm going to move on to the ninth race now. Oh, sorry, I did do you the kid, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go on to the ninth race. And here yeah, I'm going to start off with the kid. It's a Cape of Good Hope. Merit rated 80 handicap over 1400 meters, and it's going off at 1720. The last leg of the place accumulator and the pick six. What do you like here, uh, the kid? I like um, number 15, Queenswood. Um, I'll make it another value bet on the card. I mean, you go look at its first run. Um, it was 11th at the 800, and it came from Stone last to get up and win, win a good race. Then next time out, <clears throat> didn't run too far um, behind them. Um, I see it's 14 to one, it's a nice price set. Yeah, it's four, it's 14 to one and, and I think I think it's it's a good it's a good price and will I you, think- um, Will you be it's, having it's an each way on that? For sure, I'll for sure be having an each way on that one. Um, oh. It's Anything unexposed, only to add in there? To, um, I would I wouldn't leave out number number two scratched. Number two hey, out. Number two scratched. Yeah, number Thank two you. scratched. So yeah, double um, charges out. Sorry, guys. Double charge is Thank out. You. Yeah. Um look, I'd go fifteen and three. If but I like number fifteen. I mean I, I, I like three. it. Dragonfly, so. four to one, Elder Demeyer, Candace Bass Robertson. All right, let's yeah. move on to the Warrior for the next one. The race nine there, the Warrior. What do you fancy? Do you go with the 15 with them as well or not? Absolutely. I've made this my value bets of the day. Um, oh. what, what a top run um, from the Maidens over the 1200. Will relish the 1400 being out of Savono. Jumps from a good draw of three. I think top value at 14 to one. I really think it will shorten. So I would jump on it quickly as possible. And you could get the four places too there. You know that. Definitely, definitely. You get and four four places you get today will be number nine, uh, Hans Solo. Obviously, run up in in the in his last two jumps from pole position. Did well with the blinkers last time. So and gets gets the, obviously the pole position will, will benefit here um, at 10 to 1 and then for fourth I'm going to go uh, sorry third I'm going to go for number four all the top Gavin Lorena for Eric Sands last run was a little bit disappointing but does drop in class and uh, gets a much stronger jockey up and yeah must be included as well and definitely a wide open race but I, I like the value in 15 Queenswood. I think uh, he's progressive, eh? I really think uh, so. Can the kid tell us what it's going to pay for four places, if he can? Four, four places at the minute is um, 21 to 10. Just about two to one. Oh, that's a steal, guys. Really. Yeah. Um, will you be having places on that too, the Warrior Absolutely. I'm going to be taking... Um, a small double race three, my best bet number four. Onto this one for a win, and then I'm gonna go um, 
I'm going to do a place double with my best bets and my value bets as well to cover. Okay. That, All right. That's my play of the day. Okay, leave that for now. I'm going to come to the end now with that. I just want to hear what the postman likes in the line. I, th I think it's the second best bet on the card. Horse number four, all lit up. I think Eric Sands will have his double with uh, Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. yeah. If I go and I look at it, you go back. This thing ran second, three quarters of a length to Rocking Ringo. Rocking Ringo is running in the Premier Trophy, for heaven's sake. If Rocking Ringo was in this race, it'd be four to ten. Um, and all lit up was favorite on the day. Um, I don't know. I think with Gavin Arena, I think it's, uh, this is a great bet at 61. I will be climbing in on that one. Okay, um, lovely. For second, I have gone for three Dragonfly. I don't believe it's in the league of the four. Um, but it wasn't a bad run last time out. Um, drew off um, very well late. And then for third, I have thrown in the 15 Queenswood. Um, but yeah, I do believe that all lit up is the right one, and I'll be taking that double. Lovely. Can you can, can you guys tell me are we going to go three, four, fifteen in that leg? Yeah. Are we yeah, going to add anything else in the PA there? No. Three, four, fifteen. I, I, I think number through. nine. I think number nine uh, from pole position must be a runner as well. If you, if you look at um, this current form. Do you guys want to add that in? I think let's add that in. You don't want to go out the last leg of the PA. Are you guys happy with that? Yeah, you can throw it in. Yeah, you can throw it in, I suppose. Okay, you let's just see what it costs. You don't all sound too excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell I'm you over, now. It, uh, I'm not over enthusiastic, but yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's got the run. Guys, it's six. Draw. It's six. It's six hundred and seventy-five. No, I lie. Hold on. It's five forty. That PA. Five forty. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I think that's ten percent. Ten percent is fifty-four rand. Ten no percent fifty-four some, rand. And if you so take the 20%, 108 rand. Yeah, in some races, we've got four or five horses. Yeah, that, I think that's a great deal. Yeah, game. you'll definitely double up. Yeah. Hmm. I think you're so yeah, profitable. Great value for the small punter. Great value for the small punter. 54 rand for 10%. That, that is great value. Yeah. And then also, um, the bar pot, I've worked it out to 2048. <laughs> um, and if you're taking... If you're taking um, 10% of that, it's 204 Rand, which isn't bad, especially on a big day. We've got, we've got no yeah. bankers there, Stevie. No. No, we've got no, no. bankers there, no. So for, for 54 oh. Rand, they would get 5%. Yeah. 5% to double up twice, hope, hopefully one or two get yeah. run over. Can Look, I be honest with you? We've I got four horses, the... four horses, by two, by four, by four, by four. So, I mean, that's... Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they should get a run for the money. But again, they must realize, guys, if you fancy something, put your own fancy in. There's nothing worse than going out and you've left out your own fancy, eh? 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out the, I'm going to call out the bar pot. It's going to be right, two, yeah. 2679 by 2354 yes. by 2 and 5 by 1469 by 1, 2, 3 and 8 by one, four, six, and eleven for two thousand and forty-eight rand. I'll be taking ten percent of that for two hundred and four rand. And then our PA will be go slowly, yeah, please. Okay, are you writing us down, the postman? I am, hundred percent. Do you want me to go through that bar pot again for you? No, I got it. Thank you. All right. And um, Adele boy, um, I, I, I think for for the. For the punters, you maybe want a little higher percentage. If they want to, they they can do it. Maybe a, um, if they want to do a smaller perm banker, the two in the fourth race. Um, if you obviously looking for for a higher percentage, yeah. But if you obviously want to yeah. cover yourself, because I right. really think I really think the two's got the five well beaten on the second to last run over the one one, 
and there's no difference in weights. And I really think over the drop in distance, the two is a racing certainty unless the jockey falls off. Okay, that's 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 fair enough. But for me personally, I won't be bankering. I don't banker um, in the bar pot. Um, although the smaller punter, you're right, the Oracle, he, he's allowed to have his banker um, on the day and it will make his perm a lot bigger. But for yeah. me, I'm going to take that, TA, that uh, bar pot that you guys have tipped and I'm going to be taking that PA. Um, I don't normally bank in the PA, but I will certainly be bankering tomorrow after today's chat, seeing what you guys fancy. So I'm going to run through the PA for you guys. Uh, the first leg is three, four, and five. By banker two, by banker four, by one, three, and eight, by one, four, and eleven, by four, uh, by three, four, seven, nine, twelve, three, four, seven, nine, and twelve, by oh. three, four, nine, and fifteen. Have you got that? Uh, uh, got that. Thank you so much, the postman. Yes, I got that. Thank you. I think that's I think that's a great bet. I think that's the bet of the day. What that PA? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, guys, if you want to get involved in the PA and you want to add anything in there and make a bigger perm, you're welcome to. Um, tell me something. Um, the jackpots. Will you guys be tipping jackpots on the day for the Telegram punters? Um, yeah, we will be. Uh, we'll just wait for the final scratchings in the morning and then we'll put it up on Telegram in the morning just in case anything's scratched. Um, we can add one or two in. Okay. Um, I'd, I'd like it... Um, I'd like it to be done an hour before the, the actual racing starts so the guys can get their bets on and uh, structure their bets yep. according, according to their budgets, okay? All right. I'll tell you my jackpot. Can I tell you my jackpot? Yes. Um, this goes this race five. Hey, banker, do it again. By field, by banker, Rainbow Bridge, by field. Oh. Can you give us can you can can you give us those numbers, please, uh, the postman? You break you're breaking up. Your banker will be. In the fifth race. Right. No, no, do it again. Oh, do it again, yeah. Let me just get the number there quickly yeah. for the guys. So for me, four, race, race five, four. number four. Race five, number banker four. four. By field. By field. By banker one. By field. By field. And again, remember the co the Coke is going to be on race seven, eh, boys? Yep. Absolutely. And when the and commentator the says, and when the commentators, Ravon Smith turns around and says, as they go past that 220, Rainbow Bridge, traveling ass, smooth as silk, gentlemen, run to the fridge. <laughs> but get but my here coat comes out, linebacker with a devastating state running for Rainbow Bridge. And Payachi uh, catches them on the line. Yeah. Ron Panika, <laughs> Justin Snay, once again, <laughs> the three year old wins. Hey, guys, guys, <laughs> guys, I think, and, and, I think if, if, Bukaya, if Bukaya runs a race, I mean, runs a drum for the kids, you guys are going to have to take him for breakfast at Summerfeld. Warrigal. Definitely. Definitely. With extra coffee. Warrigal. Yes. If, if Pakaya wins, I'm going to have to ask you to email me the, my race card, because I'll swallow the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to come in and yeah, the, the, the surgery on because you, you'll need it. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. Okay, guys, <laughs> guys. Um, thank you for your input and your time. Uh, this is the first time we've gone live with the guys. I really appreciate your time and your effort. I really appreciate this, the time you put into studying for the punter. We're not always going to get it right. But when we do, we do, we get it right properly. Remember, we're up to a 27,000 Rand profit in five months. The guys would have seen the profit and loss video. And we're honest about that. I mean, November, we only made 750 profit, but we weren't losers, guys. Um, another thing, too, is um, with regards to the ownership of the horse, I hope you guys are all excited in owning uh, shares in King Spear. And... Um, 
I know you guys are going to try and get an interview with Nathan Cotson and um, also with a couple of jockeys. And um, I'm going to put a video. The Warrior was with Samanga at uh, Gravel the other day. I'm going to put that video, I mean, that photo up on Telegram. Um, I know the Warrior was quite excited to have a chat to Samanga again. And um, please, guys, stay tuned to Telegram for anything else that we send through that we have from the stable info. And remember, we're going to be setting up a syndicate so you guys can also own shares in a horse. Um, is there anything I've left out, the postman? No, 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 I'm good. Um, don't forget that um, Snake Stable Info, um, I've sent it through, so please put it up for the guys. I think I've sent it through for tomorrow. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. I'm going to get the You're welcome. lady to do no that. No worries. At least they can lady. have a look and see what they fancy. Yeah. We'll put that up on Telegram for them. Is that okay? 100%. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your time, the postman. The Warrior, anything from your side? Yes, uh, we're obviously looking forward to um, our horse, uh, King Spear, running. It's been nominated for next Sunday at Scottsboro, a thousand meters. We'll be running with the Blinkers. Uh, Blink Kamala will be riding, and we're hoping for a for a big run. So let's let's just hold thumbs. Um, he gets into the race. He has been nominated and. Is working very well so let's yeah we're excited um so let, let's just hold thumbs guys and as you say break a leg yeah there's one thing i forgot to mention the warrior was actually us partnering up partnering up with monty racing uh, monty marimuto has been very kind enough to let us get involved in a couple of horses and um he's been giving us a lot of uh, input with regards to his knowledge and we really appreciate that partnership with Monty Racing. And I am going to be doing an interview with Monty um, in the next coming week. So have a look out for that video and that content. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to the horse running. Unfortunately, the kid and I won't be there. We'll be in Ireland. But um, we'll be there uh, live on um, your phones with you guys and watching the racing from Ireland. Uh, the kid, anything from your side? No, uh, not, not much from my side. Take it easy. Stay safe. See you soon. All right. Just take it easy. Stay safe. And remember, Pakaya. Pakaya, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the kid will be shouting Pakaya home so the boys can uh, take him for breakfast when we're in South Africa next. Otherwise, the kid will be taking the boys for a round of golf. Guys, thank you for joining us. I hope that you like the content. Remember, we are not TV personalities. We are not superstars. We are not sports stars, um, TV stars. We just average, your average man in the street that wants you guys to enjoy and be passionate like we are. Um, remember, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now. <laughs>